Hi, this is Katie. So about a week or two ago, I asked you guys to ask me questions about living and sleeping in my car so I could do like one big Q&A. There's a dog here. There, hi, puppy. Hi. <laughs> so I thought that I was going to do one big Q&A, but you guys asked so many questions. You guys asked like 300 or 400 questions that I decided to make this into a 10-part Q&A. 10 part so like 10 Tuesdays it's basically going to be most of the summer I'm counting right now with summer by the way uh, it's gonna be most of the summer almost every Tuesday is going to be one of these Q&A's and they're going to have very specific topics some of them are gonna be very specific but I'm kind of grouping them together um, so there's gonna be one about like hygiene there's gonna be one about like actually sleeping in my car there's gonna be one about my car in general like how many miles does it have on it and stuff like that and so just by the way I'm at my friend's house right now like on his balcony figured I'd give you guys like a little bit of a different view besides just the inside of my car so I know it's noisy I'm in LA like I'm in West Hollywood West Hollywood yeah West Hollywood and so I know it's noisy also there's one other dog come here come here no he's no no camera shy he does not want anything to do with it so anyway I'm gonna do about 10 videos throughout the rest of the summer just doing different Q&A's on different topics and today's Q&A is going to be on kind of like adulting I have a lot of questions on how do you do your taxes where do you get your mail stuff like that and so I'm gonna answer all those questions today and if you're interested in seeing all the rest of the Q&A's don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell notification so that you get notified when I post videos and because I do post videos two to three times a week so anyway let's just get started okay let me do like a mini little background just in case you've never really seen any of my other videos so I live in my car because I like to be on the road I love being on road trips I like being able to go to different places all the time so I don't have a home base I do live in my car and I live in my car by choice I do work I do have jobs I could afford to live in an apartment but like I said since I like to travel so much around America right now just the best option for me and the option that I want to be doing is living in my car while I'm traveling and so I've been doing this on and off for about five years and so where I've gotten my mail has kind of fluctuated and so so let's just talk about like regular mail for a second like if I'm gonna be in one city for more than like a month or two and I want to order like a pair of glasses like I just ordered these and so I know someone in LA who is just like yeah you can just have them shipped to my house not a big deal and so one of the things that I do like especially if it's something kind of important that I need like immediately I generally know people in places that I'm going and if I don't I generally make friends and so it's like hey can I just get something mailed to your house really quick and no they don't care like nobody is like no you cannot have something mailed to my house nobody would ever say that and so obviously you have to like trust the person enough to get something mailed to their house but anyway so if it's just something like that again like if it's glasses or like if there's just something important that I need right now I would do that if it's Amazon Amazon has lockers and it's like the coolest thing in the entire world I ordered new like a new toiletry kit thing which I will show you in another video I you guys it's gonna be so many videos this summer so many so I ordered like a new toiletry thing that I got off Amazon and one of the options that you can send it to an Amazon locker and some of them are at like Whole Foods and stuff and so you literally just like go up to the Whole Foods and Amazon will send you like a little code and there's these lockers outside or inside wherever they are and you just type in a little code and then like one of the lockers pops open and your package is right there and that's it's so cool it's so 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 cool hey guys editing Katie here I just wanted to mention one thing that I forgot I know that general delivery at post offices is also an option. I've actually received a package that way once about a year ago. And I don't think that it's at every post office. I'm not entirely sure of the specifics, so please Google that. But yeah, general delivery post office, definitely an option to pick up some of your mail. Okay, back to the video. And then in terms of where I get my mail, like my official mail, which will also kind of segue into the next question of like, what do I do about official documents? Everything official is through my mom's house. And so I know that not, first of all, first of all, all of these answers, I'm not necessarily suggesting that these are all gonna work for you. And I know that they're not all gonna work for you. I'm just telling you what I do and what works for me. And so everything official, everything goes through my mom's house. And I am still technically a resident. I grew up on Long Island. I'm still technically a resident of New York. My bank is in New York. My car is registered in New York. My car insurance is New York. And I think those are three, why do I have four fingers up? <laughs> Did I say four things? Wait, anyway, I think those are a few of the main things that makes you a resident. Obviously also where you spend the most time makes you a resident, but I don't spend the most time anywhere. So that was kind of out. But I think like your bank and your car are kind of the most important things and all that is New York and like I'm registered to vote in New York all that stuff is New York and so any tax forms or anything my mom's house in New York it's always been like that and I've actually lived in other places but not really for long enough that I would claim residency there everything has just still been New York except for Nashville 
I may have claimed residency in Nashville once, but again, besides that, mostly New York. And so I work online. I have three online jobs. They all, oh, this also is another one of the questions like, well, how do you get paid um, if you don't have an address? Again, I just use my mom's address for all the official stuff. Like if they have tax forms through the jobs and things like my payments, every single payment that I get is direct deposited or just similar to direct deposit. Like it all goes to my bank account. So I never have to cash a check. And most companies are willing to do that nowadays. It's probably even easier for them. And so if for some reason, like I, one of my jobs, by the way, just as an FYI, YouTube is one of my jobs. I have a copywriting job and I do customer service and it's all online. And the copywriting job, when I first started working with them a few years ago, would send me checks. But uh, maybe last year sometime, I was like, hey, can you just do direct deposit? And they're like, yeah, that's fine. So like, most companies are super willing to do that. But so my bank is New York, but the bank that I have is pretty national. And so they're kind of everywhere if I ever need to go to the bank, which I rarely ever do. And I do all my banking online or on the phone app. And so that's just always been super easy for me. But like I said, if I ever needed to go into a bank for some reason, they're kind of everywhere. And so if you are gonna be traveling and that's important to you, maybe don't get like a super local bank, just kind of have one that's countrywide, you know? But yeah, so any legal stuff is my mom's house. And again, I know that not everyone can do that, but I, if I couldn't have my mom's address, I think what I would do next is have my dad's address. My parents are divorced. Or a very, very close friend. I think like my best friend in Austin, if for some reason I couldn't use my parents' addresses for legal things or important documents like that, I would use my best friend's address who lives in Austin. Um, and so if I needed to get my car registered somewhere else or something like that, I would use an address of someone that I can like really, really rely on. And then I do know that there are different, obviously I've had a PO box before for certain mail, um, but I just, for me with how much traveling I do, I haven't really found that I needed one. I had one in New York and I had one in Savannah because I was, I was spending a lot of time there when I got those. And so if I was gonna stay in one place for a few months, sure I'd get a PO box. But even certain forms, I don't think you can put a PO box. And so I really would, if you know anyone that you can rely on, use that for those official forms. And okay, so let's see what these next questions are. How do you manage health insurance and healthcare? So I, again, just do that all through my mom's address. And since I'm an independent contractor, all of my jobs, I'm not an employee anywhere. I had to get my own insurance. And so it's through New York. It's just one of those like exchange insurance things. I actually have to update that soon because I think it was like a year and I think I have to get a new one. But anyway, the healthcare that I was on was pretty specific to New York, but any like emergency services worked throughout the country. And so it is a little bit different. I'm not the healthiest person in the world, but I also don't necessarily need to keep going to doctors with my illnesses. Like I have a lot of food allergies and stuff like that. I don't need to continuously go to doctors, but the doctors that I might need to go to, like I had to go to, uh, where was I? About a year ago, I had bronchitis. And so I had to go to an urgent care place in Nashville and that you just pay out of pocket. It was like 80 bucks. And so certain things like that, like I will just go to urgent care, but that only happens to me like once a year. Whenever I'm in New York, I kind of will go for a checkup or something um, or to the gynecologist. Obviously I'll do that yearly. I think it's important to keep up on like the things that you need to keep up on and things like I needed to go to the chiropractor recently. And so I just went to one and there was like a Groupon and, but they actually honored the Groupon rate without me having to buy the Groupon. But any more like specific doctors I would do in New York because that's where my insurance covers it. I'm pretty sure they have like nationwide insurance. That's just not what I currently have. I'd have to look into that. I just don't know enough about that. And then someone said a dentist, the same thing. Like I don't have dental insurance. I don't even really know if I've ever had dental insurance. And so I would just go and it might be $200 or something to get your teeth cleaned and a checkup and x-rays and stuff. And I would just pay that um, just kind of out of pocket. But I do have the insurance. So if I do need something done, I can go back to New York and get it done. Or if there's like a catastrophic, like if I get an accident or something, I do have that insurance that so I don't get like a $60,000 bill or something. So one of the last questions is, do you have a budget that you stick with and do you have an emergency fund? So I think it's important for everyone to have an emergency fund, whether you live in your car or not. I'm not gonna give you necessarily like exact numbers because that's just totally up to you. But I do think it's important to do that, again, whether you're on the road or not. And no, I don't have a budget. Um, I think that I'm going to do like a trial run in July for having a budget, but I don't have one right now, no. And again, if that's something that would work for you, then awesome, do that. Everyone is so different. These are, again, are not my suggestions. This is just me telling you what I'm doing. And let's see, yeah, one other person said, I'm curious if you have a savings or retirement fund. I do have savings. I don't have a retirement fund, but now that I am working much, much more, that is something that I'm gonna look into this year and talk to probably like a financial advisor at some point to talk about having some kind of retirement fund. But I do have savings, yes. And I think I 
answered all those questions. And so again, if you have more questions, if I totally skipped like an adult question, ask it in the comments because I can probably throw it into one of my other videos. But I really hope that you enjoyed that video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, subscribe if you're not already. And like this video if you're so excited for all the Q&As this year because I am so excited. It's like the summer of Q&As. And let me know on Instagram. Oh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. It's just my name, Katie Carney. Because on Instagram, every week I'm going to poll you guys to see which Q&A you want to see next. And that's it. I love you. Jesus loves you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. Come here, my dear. There's something that I gotta say to you. And only you should give me your attention. Take the words right out of my mouth.